Today we are doing an integrated circuit which performs mathematical operation of integration of input wave with respect to time. It acts as a low pass filter and an inverting amplifier. In this session we discuss the theory, uh, design and frequency response of integrated circuit. At the end we can check out parameters such as FA and FB both graphically and theoretically. This is the typical circuit diagram of a basic integrator. The component that does the operation of integration is the feedback capacitor CF connected across the pin 6 and pin 2. But due to input offset voltage and input charging current an error voltage is developed at the output which produces variation in the output voltage. Hence the basic circuit is modified by connecting a feedback resistance resistor RF parallel to CF to form a practical integrator circuit. We will come to it after the brief discussion of theory part of the circuit in the video. Next we can have a brief discussion on the theory of uh, the integrator. Yeah. From the geometry of the circuit we have the uh, current through the capacitor is equal to C into D by DT of the voltage across the capacitor. Then from the again from the geometry of the circuit at the point V2 we have V input minus V2 by R1 is equal to the feedback current CF into D by DT of V2 minus V output. But we know this V2 at the point V2 this terminal is virtually grounded and op pump is a ideal op pump we, we have V1 is equal to V2 is equal to 0 then this equation becomes V input by R1 is equal to CF into D by DT of a minus V output. Then integrating the both sides we have integral 0 to with respect to time we have integral 0 to t v input by r1 dt is equal to integral 0 to t cf d by dt of a minus v output dt. Then integrating the right side we have applying the limit we have cf into minus v, of v, v output plus v output with the limit t is equal to 0 that is 0. Then we have integral uh, 0 to t v input by r1 dt is equal to cf into minus v output. Then solving it we get v output is equal to minus 1 by r1 cf integral 0 to t v input dt plus c. c is a constant of integration which becomes 0. If we take the time constant R1 CF as 1 second. So um, we have visually we have V output is proportional to integral of V input with respect to time. And also we can from the equation we can see V output is inversely proportional to a time constant R1 C1. Actually it is V output is. Uh, proportional to negative integral of V input. Next we will pass on to the experimental part of the integrate. Before getting into the experimental part, uh, let us design the circuit. For that, we assume the values for FA, FB and uh, CF. FA is the input frequency at which the gain in dB is reduced by 3 dB from the maximum and FB is as we know from the differentiated circuit FB is the input frequency at which gain in dB is 0 and CF that is feedback capacitor as we know is a capacitor connected between uh, pin 6 and 2 the, its value is assumed. So there is a relationship that we have to follow between FA and FB is that 
uh, FB should be 10 times FA. That is 10 FA is less than or equal to FB or FB is approximately equal to 10 FA. Now we have to choose FA and FB according to this relation. And here in the present experiment we choose FA as 1 kilohertz and FB as a 10 kilohertz. So from this value we can find the values of the components RF, R1 and compensating resistance R comp. And then let's see how is it, how it is found out. Then we know the relation FA is equal to 1 by 2 pi RF CF. So CF is assumed and from this we can find RF as 1 by 2 pi FI, FA, CF. As substituting the values, we get a, uh, RF as a approximately equal to 15 kilo ohm. Then FB is equal to 1 by 2 pi R1 CF. That's equal to, then from this, substituting CF, we get R1 is equal to 1 by 2 pi FB into CF. Substituting the values, we get uh, R1 as 1.59 to approximately it is taken to be 1.5 KO. Then coming to compensating resistance, it is calculated by taking the parallel combination of R1 and RF. We know R1 as 1 point, we have calculated R1 as 1.5 kilohertz, RF as a 15 kilohertz, taking the combination as parallel combination, substituting, we get 1 by 1 point, uh, 15 into 10 raised to 3 plus 1 by 1.5 into 10 raised to 3 uh, raised to minus 1, that is 1 by R1 plus 1 by RF is a 1 by R comba, then from that we can calculate R combina compensating is equal to approximately equal to 1.5 k. Then using these values, we can draw the circuit diagram of a uh, practical integrate. After the design, we have the circuit diagram of a practical integrated circuit. Starting from a uh, input, input is uh, given from a function generator. So positive end of a function generator is given to uh, resistance R1. Uh, we have designed it as a 1.5K. Other end of resistance given to inverting terminal of IC741. I hope all of you are familiar with the pin configuration of a IC741. Then from non-inverting pin 3, it is connected to R compensating other end of resistance is connected to resistor is connected to is grounded and also from 4 and 7 uh, the dual supply is given at a minus vcc at at 4 uh, supply given to uh, minus vcc and a plus vcc given at a uh, pin 7 and output is taken from a 6 and also we know this across 6 and 2, this feedback capacitor is connected and for the stability of the output, a parallel connection of RF is done parallel to CF. And the output is taken, uh, output is given to DSO from pin 6 and ground. Next we will pass on to uh, experiment part of the integrate. Ground 3 is 
1.5 kilo ground the 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 Integrator differentiator नमले लव इतिहासन वरने रहीं नाले integrator ले नमले feedback के लिए capacitor मात्र में इंडायर नो लो आदमी ले stability करो noise allowed जी या मेडी चाहे ना पैन लाये तो नमले बड़े नहीं इधर दो इधर resistance feedback के जेदर इधर ना नया ना opposite type का ना differentiator ले इन्हीं ये dual volt का supply नमले plus V C C seven ही लोटो four minus V E four ही लोटो ground ground ही लेके fix से नमले नमले इंडी इधर टंडे output टू इधर टंडे now the circuit is connected to DSO and you can watch it displays input sine wave integrated to cosine output wave and similarly square wave input is transformed to triangular wave output. Next we will pass on to the frequency response part of the experiment. <laughs> अभी नाइट द आर इन दरना हमले इन पुटे 2.28 वोल्ट सेटी यान। अब तो हमले वड़ता येलो का येलो आने इन पुटे ने करस्पोंडिंग ब्लू आने हमले टा आउटपुट। अब इन पुटे इंडे वोल्टेज अभी ने वी एवरेज फ्रीक्वेंसी इस आने इवड़ा कोट पीर की ना द आउटपुट इंडे आने वी पी पी वी आउटपुट वी एवरेज फ्रीक्व इन्हें नमले इधर दे यानो ऑफ यानो इधर एप्पा नोटी का इन्हें आलू में देने आए क्यों लो चुप पॉइंट थ्री एच देने आए क्यों लो इन्हें नम का आउटपुट इला वेरिएशन आए दो उन्हें आउटपुट इला मात्रा नोट करन अब आधे देने नमले ना ना फ्रीक्वेंसी हंड्रेड हेड्सिले डाला हंड्रेड हेड्सिले करस्पोंडिंग आउटपुट � 300 अपको कोर्नी चंडे, 400 19.9, 500 19.6, 600, 600 इन्हें कंस्पोंडिंग 18.7 अब हमारा फ्रीक्वेंसी तो हमको बड़ा कहाना 600 इन्हें कंस्पोंडिंग आई था आउटपुटे 18.7 अब जो इंडियन का नाना तो जोड़ गया तो हमारा कोर्नी वेरी नंदे इन्हें हमारा तो कोर्नी क्या आना 700 800 अपन दाने ना हमारा आउटपुट तो इन्हें कोरोनी कोरोनी वेरी आना तो हमारे इन दाने आयरम हेड्स है दा इधर वन किलोवाट से थी वन किलोवाट से टेपल ना हमारा आउटपुट तो इन्होंने रही ना दें दाने 15.9 आना अपन कोरोनी कोरोनी वेरी आना इन्हीं 1.2 किलोवाट्स 1.3 किलोवाट्स अपन दाने ना हमारा फ्रीक्वेंसी के अनुसार � अल फ्रीक्वेंसी नमले कूटी 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 कुंडू वेरी आने नमले करस्पोंडिंग एफपी नमले को कंडू लिखिया। नमले उड़े फ्रीक्वेंसी वेरिएशन 100 हेड्स ही लगने 10,500 हेड्स वेरे। लाइक इधर 10 किलो हेड्स वेरे नमले एक्टिव चंडे। अपन नमले डा इनपुट वोल्टेज 2.28 अद वाला तो ना आउटपुट वोल्टेज 2.48 Indonesia we write the input voltage here in the experiment uh, we have set uh, the input voltage is 2.38 volt uh, and uh, let me tell you one thing that the rest of the readings are not the same that we got in the experiment because uh, these readings were done by someone else and uh, the tabular column consists of five columns as you can see the first column records frequency input frequency either right in khz or in hertz then second column records log of this frequency third one uh, output voltage measured from dso then fourth one we have to calculate the gain using the formula a b is equal to p output by v input uh, and write uh, the values in the fourth column then last one uh, records the gain in db using the formula 20 log 
AV. Next, uh, we'll see the model of a frequency response curve. Frequency response curve of the integrator is drawn uh, with a log f along x-axis and uh, gain in db along y-axis. And uh, we get uh, the shape of the graph uh, uh, is uh, as shown. That is, initially it remains, the output remains a constant for a while. Then afterwards it uh, goes on decreasing with the increase in uh, input frequency. And uh, finally, uh, we got uh, at about uh, 10,500 hertz, uh, this input frequency, input voltage and output voltage uh, became almost uh, equal to each other. And here, to find the uh, FA, uh, reduce 3 dB from maximum value of a gain in dB. And we get a, a point uh, at this point and uh, draw a straight line parallel to x-axis from this point. And it meets the curve at a point and uh, node the log f corresponding to this point and the log of this log of is a fa and similarly as from the definition we have done previously uh, fb is the input frequency corresponding to zero gain in db so this is zero gain in db note the log of corresponding to that take anti log of that that gives a fb we can calculate the practical value of a uh, FA and FB using a formula FA is equal to 1 by 2 pi FCF at a, FB is equal to 1 by 2 pi R1CF and also experiment value is obtained from frequency response curve. And here I have a request. Observe this graph very closely and find the difference in frequency responses of basic integrator, ideal practical integrator and actual practical integrator. Hope you followed the experiment. Thank you.